hey welcome back to my channel so uh, today we are going we are in uh, episode uh, 3 so uh, in this series we are going to create the model uh, as you are seeing in the image so i hope uh, you you like the uh, series i have been creator uh, like continuous like if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and check out my description where I have a play playlist of a varieties of range which I have created in my channel please do have a check and uh, now without wasting much time uh, let's start with the model so uh, today I'm gonna create this like uh, I will start with the basic uh, a sketch boundary like from this uh, print view we're gonna create all the uh, necessary um, you know sketches to start creating the model so let me try to use already created a new part so we are going to try with the solidworks modeling uh, with this part like let me try with the uh, not customize let's go with an mm and also i uh, just would like to have a white so it will be more clear and in the front plane i'm going to create um, a reference oops this will be make this infinite blank yeah and now we're gonna constrain with the center point and now again i'm gonna create the line line yes done so i'm gonna create a sketch it's on 48 and could be 20 48 and 20 this is the dimension which I have created and then next I'm gonna create this profile um, 66 9 okay 9 is not required like tangential to the circle and 66 and 45 okay so keeping that so I'm gonna take this let me try to make okay let me try to make a symmetric profile like let's try with 45 a constraint and also this could be a 66 and this is already got tangent so now i'm going to mirror this to profile on the other side of my sketch yes great so uh, now i'm going to create the bottom profile this which i would like to create so 12 and from the center we have 50 the other side is 115 and here we have 42 42 and 12 34 and 28 okay cool so let me try to remember all the dimensions uh, from this center okay so let me draw us i mean i'm gonna give a 55 or 50 i don't know let, let, let's cross check again this could be 115 i know that and let me draw uh, both sides a vertical line which has equal uh, dimension so i will try to make 12 over here and uh, i will select this entity and this entity and try to make equal so this both entities now are equal so you don't give the other dimension over the other side so and uh, now uh, let me draw a circle which is 34 the reference we know like from this face to this here is 42 and from this face to this face is 42 yes clear and now gonna make a circle or not a circle i could go rather than a, a center arc so i forgot my dimension but still let me make a line and this also let's connect with this here so try to make a tangential and this too tangential i forgot like i need to confirm 55 and the radius over here okay it's 50 and 28 okay 50 and 28 yeah almost we uh, covered the all the dimension except the slot over here so now uh, <clears throat> we'll try to extrude 55 and the second profile could be the extrude and we will offset from the 9mm okay fine good so uh, 
I suggest like to select the sketch scene and remove the counter. I mean, like the counter which you have to select from the inner surface. Uh, not a necessary entity of where we have to create like 55 rather than creating try to create a mid so that you will always have a reference now again go back to show the sketch now the second profile could be like this so i will suggest like select this and uh, select the same reference and convert entity and try to trim it so you have no more option and extrude again uh, not a mid, I could say like 9, but I would like again offset 9. So this time we have to flip, flip, perfect. So uh, I'm gonna select OK. So now uh, almost be done. So we will try to do a mirror on the other side, but uh, not now, uh, we will do later. Uh, so uh, we are gonna create a one more profile. On the, to create a base of 66 again so in this way uh, we have to make sure the profile or we will try to make complete um, a 66 and try to uh, you know make a extrude cut on the mid of this person like from 66 we will try to minus 12 at the mid or we have another option that let, let, I will explain how it has to be okay uh, so coming back over here so again extrude I'm going to select this profile um, yeah, so uh, mid 66 perfect. Then now I'm gonna do a mirror, so there's no need of mirror. I thought like we'll have a different option, but but we'll do a mirror over here now. The future has to be mirror, yes. I'm gonna select okay, perfect. So again, uh now what we gonna try to do is like we'll select the front plane and gonna do a convert entity yes but this time uh, we'll remove this profile we'll remove this profile we'll remove this profile uh, we'll gonna connect with this two exactly okay so then uh, we can remove this like by having 12 12 so uh, extrude cut and now we are going to minus 24 perfect so 12 12 looks good yeah so uh, you can hide uh, this sketch now yep so almost we get close with that uh, uh, model now we are going to create this profile uh, by uh, having a so from uh, from this isometric view we are not sure it's a through hole or it's a deep of eight but we will try to maintain the outer profile and try to make a hole it's 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 a hole so that I thought like we will remove it completely through holes by can by assuming since we have only isometric view we will do like that and then also we have an extrude over here to do that so now first we'll try to do this and then we'll come back over here so 34 and 6 is a deep so we will use now um, extrude cut option and now we can select 34 and uh, extrude cut could be a uh, deep of 6 so we will try to make a 6 so uh, I would suggest we will we'll try to make the mirror over here and going to select the option again I'm going to in include this future as well so that it, you don't need to repeat the mirror future again and again so by using this you can able to save a additional a future step so now both sides we have that so now uh, we're gonna select this gonna draw a slot option going with the again sketch by selecting this feature okay sorry by mistake it was like Elgenstein okay this and this slot we have finalized 36 and 16 16 
36 now we have to make sure uh, it should again it this is the center of this again for 42 center of this hole till 42 perfect again on that other way at the center again from the center i'm going to create the hole so it's then 15 Okay, it's radius 16, right? So this is same too. Sorry, into two. Yeah, perfect. Now we'll maintain this as a 15. Constraint. Good. So now we have a uh, height of eight. So first, try to maintain the height. I'll go with the selection. Now I'm gonna select this and this both. It should be eight. Now um, I'm going to fit this reference. Gonna do extrude cut. But this time I'm gonna select the center and the TS and gonna create it through all both sides. Select okay. Both sides. I don't know why this is not happening. Both okay, not an issue. Made select this side. Select okay, fine. Cool. So uh, this is how we have to create and almost all, most we have covered all the dimensions and yes. So hope uh, you like this video. Uh, uh, try to subscribe to my channel and give your support so you can see upcoming videos will be going more interesting in this series. Uh, I'm going to create a lot of, you know, uh, varieties of models which is involve a lot of futures. So please give thumbs up and like. And Thank you for watching. Keep supporting. Bye until from Shape 8.